All right, folks. I got an automatic, so it's a little bit different. 125th of shutter speed, F2.5, ISO is that auto. So this is intelligent auto. We can, uh, and there's the Alamo Dome. Get back on the highway. Ah, shit. Stop. Ah, I have to go this way. Found the setting, driving me crazy. Yeah. All right, now. Now this is a neat shot right here. See some guys on scooters. Come on guy, settle down. some of the uh, towers. And you know what? I'm going to go Austin. This is long enough where I can show you the difference between manual mode and automatic. about doing a video in 4K60, it takes a long time to render, especially if, if you have uh, long files. Now, the speed limit said 65. My navigation says 60. So let's see who's correct. And that guy's doing about maybe 70. 67. There's the full moon, but I don't know if you can see it. Well, it's not a full moon, it's a half a moon. Sixteen. 
There it is. What do you think of that moon? Gorgeous, isn't it? So this is the uh, eastern side of the city. Some cars are speeding. You better slow down because uh, I know the Live Oak Police and the, are ready to nab them. difference is it's automatic on the 130th to 140th shutter speed f2.5 stays the same and then the ISO is on auto I have no idea what they want and I still think this is too bright Make it interesting. Yeah. Don't want to go south. I am going to take a four ten. Uh, this is kind of like uh, the East 410 and North 35. So in these two videos, I want you to comment, did you like my first version, part one? car vlogging with the Sony a7C 40 millimeter G lens f2.5 or in manual mode or in autumn auto mode on part two like to read the comments see a lot of people like to see a lot of light me I like the different contrasts of dark and light actually what I see while I'm driving coming up with the 410. I haven't gone this way before, but you're going to like it. 
So instead of going straight home on I-35, I'm going to take the 410. You see me coming from the north to the south to get on 410. Now I'm coming from the south to north on 410. So I'm doing a series of uh, Share the Love. I'm using different cameras. So I'm comparing this to the R6, which I've had a problem with overheating. I see a lot of problems over there. This area is at the bank too. There's been a couple of robberies. Um, you know, um, at those ATM machines. Uh, a car, a guy got out, was approaching uh, his driver and made him nervous. He pulled out a gun and, and shot the guy. Thought he was going to get robbed. been this way in a long time. Randolph Boulevard, but this is 410 right here. <laughs> A big curve. Yeah, you have to be very careful. It's a very sharp curve, folks. It's been like this for years. And as you can see, I'm usually coming down the ramp on the right. Now you probably know where I am. I'll tell you this right now, I do not like auto. That's why I put it in manual exposure. Some people like this. They like more light. But if you look at the cars, the flaring, especially on the tail lights. Stress I'm wearing the Rode Lavalier mic, so I hope my voice is uh, 
excellent. I hope you don't hear any scraping or anything with the seat belt. Have to look out for that. Navigation says 65, right? Still says 65. So I just noticed on my uh, dash that I'm heading west. I've always checked my navigation. Isn't that something? So it shows that I'm doing 55 miles an hour. And I'm heading west. These lights are out. Isn't that something? And you can see the parking garage, pretty much. So here's a wee moment. This is pretty high also. Come um, underneath the underpass. I took a different route tonight just to show you I can do it. I think the flaring's just a little bit too much, folks. I really do. So here we go through the uh, wines again. Not as bad as downtown, just before downtown.
what do you think? Too much uh, flaring. But some people like it. Two cameras starting to overheat, the R50 and the R7 on the iMac. The R10 was outstanding as normal, as usual, I mean. So that was a shock. You know, a lot of people said, ah, it's condition well and the ceiling fan on there's 78 degrees and even if they show you the warnings they do overheat see how high 1604 is just in between the, the signs you can see some cars driving on top of it so here's another wee moment folks is the higher one. And there's one next to it that's even higher.
So you, uh, what confuses a lot of people on this loop is there's an access road or a frontage road to 1604, okay? It's the most outer loop, but there's a speed limit of 55 on the access road. It's uh, 70 on the loop itself. And sometimes you see both signs and he says, okay, which one is closer? If it's further on the right, it's for the access road. If it's uh, further to the left, that means it's for the loop. So I got the air conditioning set on number one level, and it's nice and cool in here. And the temperature is, I think, 66. I'm not sure. It's telling me that I'm heading east. And I'm on the north side of the loop. thing I do about these different videos if you stay long enough you now I don't want to get off at just I want to get off at Green Mountain Green Mountain yeah they got a light burned out on that American flag or they forgot to turn it on about that mm. I hate that they don't even have a warning for it in space and change my settings and I see this car there every night so I think it's security so maybe he doesn't want me to get in there This one right here. 
Let's see if I can get it in. Yeah. I can. Okay. So, there's a purple light. And I'm going to park right here. And I'm going to change it to uh, manual mode again. And you'll see the difference. <laughs> 